So in 1991, there was this stampede where nine people were crushed and had been killed and passed away. Now, looking back at this event, for those of you who might not know what took place, I believe that this was a sacrifice and this is why. Hey guys, it's Marad Ronaldi. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel. Send a super thanks if you guys wish to. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. And let's get straight into this video. So I wanted to discuss this, bring this back to the forefront. You know, a lot of people might not know of this event and what took place, why I think it's very eerie. It's a part of PDD's history and why I think it's made him into this billionaire that he is today. So in 1991, around this time era, P. Diddy was building himself up to be a pretty good popular party promoter, where he was able to always pack parties over their capacity and he was great at what he would do. And working with Andre Havel around this time as well, I believe, and things were really going well for him to the point where, you know, they decided to do a AIDS fundraising concert at a basketball arena in City College in Harlem. This is where nine people were crushed to death. More than 3,000 people in the gym, far more than there needed to be, but P. Diddy didn't really care and he wanted to get as many people in the gym. Many people at the time, you know, complained whilst they were there about the hot weather, doors being mysteriously shut, conditioning obviously not working. A few times I thought I was gonna pass out because it was hot on that staircase. You know what I'm saying? And when they closed the doors, I knew someone was going down. City College was a deep, deep, deep experience for me. I was there, I was on the floor, I watched people take their last breath, regurgitate and die. Seeing people taking their last breath, I believe this was all planned. I believe this was a ritual sacrifice. I believe that, you know, he was told by elites to be in a position to try and sacrifice people in order to level himself up. That is how the game works. And I believe this is what he wanted to do. And he did it. Gene Deal had spoken about this. He did warn PDD at the time when he was a security that, you know, people need to cl clear the entrance. There's too many people coming through and he just did not care. I said, yo, I told Puff right then and there. I say, Puff, if they don't do a boxing one outside and get these kids off the door, somebody gonna die tonight. He said, Gene, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You just handle the stars once they come inside. PDD did not care in any capacity. Who there he was with is a party planner, somebody, an event planner, you know, a promoter, goes by the name of Jessica Rosenblum. She ran with the money box at the event it was seen and shut the door behind her. Now, Jessica Rosenblum, for those of you who don't know who she is, she is a master plan back in the day when it comes to promoters, parties, she used to run the best parties. She was the mastermind behind PDD's parties and conspiracies of her are always being around about her being part of secret societies. There's another party promoter called Maria Davis, and she stated how Russell Simmons, P. Diddy, all used Jessica, and her quote is, they used her and God used me. So therefore, this was a suggestion that, you know, Jessica was very much high up there with the elites, and that there was some devilish ritual, sacrificial events that would take place, and therefore Marie would never would be used, but it would be go through to Jessica, and you know, the links, the connects, everything was a lot more easy. Maria also said that she's very connected to people in the industry, such as Lyle Cohen. Now, Lyle Cohen is somebody I haven't spoken about, but he is also a very interesting figure that is waiting in the wings behind a lot that is going on. You know, Damon Dash, not Damon, sorry, Dame Dash had said for many times that it wasn't, he doesn't have an issue with Jay-Z, it was Lyle Cohen who came into the fold and broke up um, their whole situation and that of course he is the mastermind behind Jay-Z and also the fact that he has exploited people himself, Lyle Cohen, in different ways when it comes to the music industry and business and what should be promoted. So he is one to watch for sure and somebody who people you know really distrust but is very successful in the music industry business. So P. Diddy obviously networked very well. He became very great friends with, you know, Andre Havel, of course, hired him at the point. You know, he began to know Lyle Cohen. He obviously began a friendship with Clive Davis who helped him birth Bad Boy Records. So he knew what to do and he knew where he wanted to go and he would do anything by means to do so. 
I do believe that the 1991 stampede was a ritual sacrifice that PDD did to prove ready for the fame and wealth um, that he so desperately wanted. This sounds very similar, guys, to the Astro World concert where 10 people, you know, during the stampede were crushed to death. And the fact that, you know, I felt like it was a sacrifice. What is eerily similar between Travis and P. Diddy is the fact that both of them, Travis Scott and P. Diddy, had same reactions after these significant events that they were at. They didn't care that people had died at their concerts as if it was pre-planned, as if they knew what was going to happen and just kind of emotionally equipped themselves to not really care about it because they were so focused on the end goal, which was the money, fame and wealth that they were going to acclimatize because of what was going on. So allegedly, you know, blind items had said that right after the concert and as people being sent to the hospital, videos were, you know, made of PDD counting his money. He didn't care about who had died. He would care about the fact that he got a lot of money from the concert. I forget who was performing. Anyway, the one thing I found interesting was that the people who were helping Diddy with the event found him counting his cash in one of the back rooms after the nine children had been taken to the hospital. He denies this, of course, but multiple people have said that they saw him with their own eyes. Jessica had got scared. That was Puffy Puffy partner at the time, Jessica Rosenberg. She got scared, ran downstairs with the uh, money box and shut the door behind her. And all those people got shut down in there. So with the fact that he completed his mission that he was told to complete. So I do thoroughly believe that this 1991 stampede that unfortunately took the lives of nine people was something that P. Diddy knew was going to happen. It wanted to be a ritual sacrifice. It worked out well for him because directly after that, he obviously began this friendship with Clive Davis. And directly after that, Bad Boy Records came about. His wealth came about. His fame came about. Everything correlated in a positive effect for him. Granted, he had issues with shootings and etc. But outside of that, you know, I don't think that's connected. Everything wealth-wise connected for him after the ritual sacrifice. And I think a ritual sacrifice like that, it proves yourself to the elites above. And what you get in return is not only fame and wealth, but protection. And that is why I feel like he's been protected for so many years, for the past 20 years. A lot of questions questions are, how did he get away with this? So many people in the industry knew. It doesn't matter who knows in the industry because if you're protected by those above who control the industry, you are untouchable, you have great power, and everybody else around you knows that. So that is my you know, theory that I've come up with, that I feel like it was a sacrifice in order to better his life. And PDD is the type of person who I think we all can conclude would do anything to get to the top by it meaning allegedly killing Tupac, allegedly killing Biggie, allegedly killing Kim Porter, abusing women if he has to, holding these weird parties. You know, it's not far-fetched that this 1991 stampede would be a ritual sacrifice because in the lawsuit that Cassie had stated, he would do these weird freak-offs where people are wearing masks, which sounds like an eyes wide shut ritual sacrifice situation. So I feel like he would do things like this in order to please the people above because he was told to do so in order to prove himself. I think the elite asked these people to do this stuff to prove your honor, yourself, your commitment, how far you would go to prove yourself to either de the, the devil, to just the, the people of Ali, like whatever it may be. So I think that this story should be covered um, again. And I think that, you know, we obviously need to discuss this. Now, since this whole situation took place, Andre Havel allegedly fired him after that stampede situation, which, you know, could have been done on purpose. Perhaps he was told to do so. Perhaps he was told to X, Y, Z, because after that, he then connected with Clive and etc and found Bad Boy Records and that's when he began exploiting so many people. So I think that this stampede is very eerie. We've seen it again with Travis Scott, which I also think was a sacrifice, you know, the whole situation. That's that stampede with Travis Scott, there were so many, you know, women um, you know, doing press, you know, that the parents doing so much press to crying about their daughters dying and etc. So much emotion. They were showing that they had lost their loved ones and yet Travis Scott didn't even, I didn't even see him shed a tear. I didn't even see him getting emotional anyway. He, the man just did not care and was locked up in his billionaire house and everything seemed to be fine. So I do think that this is a very eerie story and I think that in my opinion, allegedly, I'm not saying it's fact because I don't know it to be fact, that, you know, I felt like allegedly it was a ritual sacrifice. PD did so to exceed his career and get further and forward and it is very, very creepy. Make of this information what you will. I wanted to put out a very quick theory, you know, video about this because it's just been on my mind for the last couple of days. Do subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it, guys. I give you guys daily videos every single day. Subscribe, send a super thanks, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.